Hey everyone, and welcome to a new Requiem series. The character that I'm playing this time around is going to be a kind of bard-ish character. We're a charming singer with a focus on mind control magic. So, that's the right side of the illusion tree. Uh, fear, frenzy, and sleep spells. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? But we might find our voice in other ways later on. That's right. This is going to be a shout build. I know everyone has gone and done that at this point, but I think it's such a fun build to play, and I really like this version of it. So that's what we're going to do. Now, if you remember hearing me talk about an illusionist shout build on the Discord a few months ago, uh, don't worry, I'm going to be playing a lot more fair this time than I did that time around. And part of that is I'm using Azrak's small illusion tweaks. Um, basically, revamps some parts of illusion, uh, changes up the resistance formula a little bit, and nerfs a lot of the super overpowered spells. Like Hibernation Spray is now harder to land, Phantasmal, over Phantasmal Miasma has been completely overhauled, as it should be, and yeah. Hopefully we will get to see some of those changes throughout the course of this run. First, we gotta make it through the Ratway. Now, the Ratway kinda sucks. Uh, it's so RNG, and it's all dependent on this one archer. Looks like he does have a hunting bow this time, so maybe the plan is to run in and try to break it. Uh, that could go very poorly for me, though. So, I know. Beautiful. Alright, let's go outside. I'm gonna kill you. Challenge me. Tear you to pieces. Hey, watch what you're doing. Beautiful. Yeah, I saw those glass arrows. Definitely would have messed me up if he got a shot off. Let's see what kind of RNG we get with this stamina ring. Time to finish this. All right. Lowest level, but whatever. We'll take it. And the lowest level health potion, too. Damn you! Gotta slow walk a bit until uh, we regenerate some magicka. 
unfortunately, until we get the Focused Mind perk at Restoration 25. Uh, this is what we're going to have to deal with. Do I have any food on me? No. Or nothing that I want to eat. Oh well. So, best way to deal with the vaults. Make a bunch of noise. They see me. Well, make a bunch of noise and let the Thieves Guild take care of them. So I am cheating myself out of diluted insights by doing this, but uh, it's not worth going up against two archers at this point. Usually a skeever down here. Anyway, ah, there you are. Our reward is a bunch of chests. Where's that skeever body? Only one insight. That is a little bit unfortunate. Because out of any skill in the game, I think illusion is the one where your skill level in the actual skill matters the most. Because there are some skills where it's really just like a gateway to perks, uh, but for illusion, your skill level actually determines how likely your all of your spells are to succeed. And so it's super important that we get this skill as high as we can, as early as we can. This is also why you haven't seen me use any illusion spells yet, even though we have fear. Uh, that's just because there's pretty much no way that we'd land any of them at this point. So, that is kind of a shame. This will at least get us another insight. Alright Maul, it's all you. You and the guards. I believe it's also going to get us enough gold for us to buy a level 4 master key, which is going to be critical to our next upgrade. Cuts, we're going to go join the Dawnguard. See Balaman perform mirror, the finest weapons and armor. If you need nice. any more smithing work, come see me again. I honestly have kind of mixed feelings about 
these master keys. On one hand, they make lockpicking much easier, and I mean, I have no complaints about that. Uh, on the other hand, they do kind of invalidate Nox scrolls. Like, they're just, in most cases, a better, cheaper Nox scroll. And I know that you lose a little bit of flexibility in that you can only open one level of lock, um, but when it comes to boss chests, they really mostly come in adept and expert anyway. So yeah, not asking for it to be changed because honestly, I hate going through a dungeon and not being able to open the lock at the end. So reducing the cost of having to deal with that is always good, but just saying. All right, since we're kind of short on insights, I probably should fight these guys. What are we looking at? Yes, you. Back off. You picked a bad time to get lost. <laughs> Shit, that was bad. Uh, he probably could have one-shot me with that crossbow. Um, or not. Two-shot, though. I need to zigzag away. See, this guy has an Elven Axe. What's that? <laughs> well, this works. This is the downside of playing with unperked one-handed. It takes forever to kill things. Thankfully, this guy seems to be pretty aggressive with the power attacks. I'll rip your heart out. You're a fool to test me. Last mistake. You know, a surefire way to stop something from happening is to say it out loud. We are robbed. I was gonna say, like, as soon as I said anything, he stopped doing the power attacks and went back to being really annoying. Now I just gotta deal with this archer. Which I don't know if I have a good plan for. Uh, again, fear is probably not going to stick. So I think we'll just run him out of arrows or bolts, I guess. Crossbow is kind of annoying because I can't really see the shots coming. With arrows, they leave a nice trail. This crossbow, I'm probably just going to either get hit or not. But okay. Cool. He's out. Shit. Okay, cool. Let's save before I equip that guy. A very, very temporary upgrade.
And I say very temporary because we're about to get an even better one in the Dawnguard War Axe. But I think there's not much left. I guess a couple of wolves. No more? No. Alright, yeah. I think I will cut the video here. Now, isn't this a familiar sight? As I promised, I went and joined the Dawn Guard. I also joined the Dark Brotherhood uh, because these shrouded robes are like the best thing that you can get uh, as an early illusionist. And so we did the entire loop from Windhelm to Solitude to Falkreath. And now we're here at the very familiar Treasure One Bandits. I also managed to get enough insights to bring illusion to 22. And so now we have Apprentice Spells, and this is where Illusion starts to get fun. You hear that? That is the sound of our enemies fighting each other. And it is beautiful. Now, I need you to attack each other, not me. Alright. This is the end for you. And that's how you do it. Now it's off to Ember Shard. See what we got. Time to die. I cannot best you. <laughs> You're dead. You hear me? Dead. Do your worst. Unfortunately, a lot of the early game is going to be chasing down feared enemies, which is a little bit annoying. But yeah, that's pretty much the plan. When you're fighting groups of enemies, use frenzy. When you're fighting a single enemy, use fear. Can't 
wait to count out your coin. Now, one thing to know is that I am losing more diluted insights uh, because enemies that your frenzied enemies kill uh, do not drop diluted insights. Only things that you kill directly drop them. So this build does level slightly slower than other builds, but it's worth it for the safety. It's actually good that he broke fear there. I don't want him running into the last room and aggroing those bandits. This is your final hour. All right, get illusion up to 25. And then we'll start leveling evasion. Want the dodge perk as soon as we can. Where's this archer? Hmm. So what I want him to do is to wait for him to walk down onto the bridge. And then when I frenzy him, the two-hander over there is going to immediately run up and kill him. At least that's the goal. Nice. You'll regret crossing me, you coward! It's nothing! And that should be everyone. So, that is Ember Shard Mine as an illusionist. Unfortunately, I'll have to leave these chests. I 
and I'm not yet able to bash them open. Let's go pick up that treasure map, uh, or rather the treasure chest, and then I think we can call it an episode. We'll obviously save that perk for dodge. Spell on self. That's actually pretty good. I think. It's like a potion of cleansing. Um. Oh man. Costs 400. I mean, I know I don't have the perk, but even so. Maybe it's not worth it, uh, given how easy it is to get potions of cleansing. You had best tell Jarl and Viper. What? Just one point away from dodge. You know what? Uh, let's take on the two bandits on the hill on the back, and hopefully that'll get us enough insights. As in, one insight. Alright, sounds like he got the archer. And we got him. And there's the dodge perk. All in all, I'd say that was a pretty good first episode. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.